In this video, we'll take a look at how to secure a REST API using Cognito user pool and custom word scopes. We'll create a simple API and API gateway backed by a Lambda and create a Cognito user pool and configure it in the authorizer to secure the API. Let's dive in and take a look at the entire process step by step. So let's go ahead and create a Lambda function, which we'll use as a backend for the API that we will create later. So let's go to Lambda. Click on functions, click create function. Let's name our function test API. Select Python. Leave rest of the things to default and uh, click create function. Once the function is created, we are, we are not going to change any of this code. We'll leave it as default because for our, for our uh, Example, this is good enough. The hello from Lambda is good enough. Now that we have created the Lambda function, let's go ahead and create an uh, API. Go to API Gateway. And uh, scroll down to the REST API and click Build. Click OK. Select New API. And provide an API name just API and select edge optimize for the endpoint type and click create API and in the actions drop down select create a method select get from the option we are going to have a we are going to create a get function click this check mark check mark on the settings for this get method let's select use lambda proxy integration and select the lambda function that we created just now click save click ok to give uh, to give permission to api gateway to invoke our lambda function as a final step let's go and deploy our api click a new stage give a stage name doesn't matter what we give click deploy and copy paste this Copy this URL, which we'll use in the next step in the Postman to test the API itself. Open Postman, create a new request, paste the URL that we got from API Gateway, click Send. This should return hello from Lambda. And that's because right now we have not configured any authorizer or any authentication mechanism for this API. So it's able to return us this value. Uh, so this is good. This is what we expected to see. Now let's navigate to Cognito to create a Cognito user pool. Let's go to Cognito, click on user pools, create user pool. And in the configure sign in experience step, let's click username. We'll mostly leave everything to default and just change minimal things. Click next. In the configure security requirements section, we'll just select no MFA no the change click next in the configure sign up experience section no change at all click next the configure message delivery section just select send email with cognito and click next in the integrate your app section let's give the user pool a name so let's say just api user pool and then select use the Cognito hosted UI checkbox and let's give the Cognito a domain in our case test API security we can give anything as long as it is available we can give anything and in the app client let's give the app client a name test API client and for us to utilize this client and then uh, use it in the authentication process the authorization process we need a client secret so select that one generate a client secret and we need to provide the callback url here we'll provide the postman's callback url and then click next 
review all the details that you gave and click create user pool and now we have got the user pool created the main things to check is go to app integration tab and in there you will see the cognitive domain that we created and then open up the test API client so you would see the client that we created it has a client ID and a client secret and the callback URL that we had configured because we have no UI application to test here we'll use postman as a client to test so that's why we have given the callback URL the postman URL and uh, yeah that's it so we've got the user pool created now that we have created the user pool let's go ahead and create resource server so go to test API user pool and in the app integration section you will see something called resource servers a resource server is nothing but an OAuth server that authorizes access to protected resources by verifying the access token and the access levels based on the scopes present in the token. A scope is a level of access that an app can request to a resource. So let's create it, create resource server and uh, let's give the resource server a name. So here, test API resource server and let's get the same name for the resource server identifier as well we can give anything as long as it is unique provide a add a custom scope in this case we're trying to protect the get method which is uh, basically returning the hello world uh, hello from lambda so let's uh, name it accordingly read hello world message and give a description as well and click on create resource server now that we have the resource server created let's take a look there's a custom scope so we're good there now that we have the custom scope created copy the custom scope we need to update this in the app client that we just created because that's the client that we would use to invoke the API. So go to app integration, scroll down to the bottom, open up the test API client that we created. And in the hosted UI section, there's this custom scope. We need to update the custom scope that we need to, we created here. Click on edit scroll down and in the custom scope it should uh, the one that we created should appear so the it would have the full name here which includes the resource server name that we uh, gave along with uh, the custom scope name that we created so select that and click save changes Now that we have created the custom scope and also uh, updated that in the app client, let's navigate to API Gateway and let's create a authorizer there. Go to Test API, click on Authorizers, click Create New Authorizer, uh, give the name Test API Authorizer select cognito in the authorizer type and then in the cognito user pool in my case there's just one user pool if you have a lot of user pools and just start typing in and it, it should uh, basically filter to the user pool that you want to uh, select here so let's select the test api user pool that we just created and in the token source let's give the uh, header in which we we would uh, pass the authorization uh, token Let's click create. So the authorizer is created. In the next step, we'll configure the authorizer to use the custom scope. Now that we have the authorizer created, let's go and configure the authorizer to the API method. Click on resources. Click on get. And in the method request, 
click on the pencil icon uh, let's refresh it click on the method request click on the pencil icon it should show the authorizer that we just created select that test api authorizer and then uh, click on the check mark in the word scope section we need to give the uh, uh, word scope that we created it, it basically is the combination of the resource server identifier and the uh, custom scope itself so for to get that let's navigate to uh, cognito open up our user pool go to the app integration section scroll to the bottom go to the test api client and you should see the custom full name select that copy that and paste it here click on the check mark so that's it to uh, configure here so as the final step uh, don't forget to deploy the api so let's deploy the api with all the changes that we had done to the same stage and click deploy copy this url we'll use this in the postman to hit the api and test it right now now we have everything that we need to test the api except for one thing we need to create an user in the cognito user pool which we would use as the user who would be authenticating and uh, retrieving that scope to invoke the api so let's go to the cognito user pool navigate to the users tab and click create user and in here um, just create a new user test user and give an email id doesn't matter what we give and uh, set a password some password and click on create user now that we have the user created we have everything that we need to start testing the api so um, we'll see that next let's open postman and give the url and try to hit send and this time it should it should give us an authorized uh, 401 unauthorized response because we have configured an authorizer and it is expecting um, a beer token to be sent uh, and then that would be validated by the API gateway so it won't work so we need to go to the authorization tab and configure it select auth 2.0 and in the authorization configure new token section for the token name enter access token and select authorize using browser because we would be basically uh, using the browser to sign it for the authentication url basically we need to get the cognito url cognito domain that we had configured so if you navigate to cognito servers the user pool that we created in the app integration tab you should you should see this cognito domain url pick that from there and suffix it with auth2 slash authorize this is a redirect url to the login endpoint in the browser which would accept the username password and uh, allow us to sign in in the access token url we'll give what to slash token the client id we'll get the client id from the app client that we created in the user pool so if you go to app integration tab scroll to the bottom you'll see the app client and then if you open the app client at the top you'll see the client id and uh, the client secret as well copy paste them and for the scope we need to give the full identifier the resource server identifier slash the custom scope you should be able to get that from the app integration tab again add that here 
and that's it to configure the authorization so let's go ahead and uh, click get new access token this should open the sign in page the cognito um, sign in page in the browser let's give the username password that we created test user and the password that you had given while creating the user sign in it should ask you to change the password on first login so let's go and provide a different password this should navigate us back to the postman and it should have the access token as the bearer token and all the details so just select use token and that should and that should update the token here and that's it now let's click send it works so right now we get the response from the lambda so we had uh, we were able to successfully authenticate to cognito get an access token which contained the OAuth scope that we needed and we were able to invoke the api passing that access token with the scope and api gateway was able to validate that scope with the cognito and it was able to make the call to the lambda function and then uh, get the response from the lambda itself so that's it for uh, configuring cognito user pool and a custom OAuth scope to secure a rest api uh, thank you thanks for watching